Hi, this is Tom, and in this video we are going to be solving exponential and logarithmic equations. Here we go. So let's do this. Solve. First problem we're going to solve is 3 raised to the x plus 1 equals 2. We're going to try two different approaches. Here we go. So let's try this. We'll call this approach approach 1. Now notice this. This is already an exponential equation. So I'll, let me bring this down. 3 to the x plus 1 equals 2. This is an exponential equation and so it also means then that there's an equivalent logarithmic equation that says our base is 3 so the log in base 3 of 2 equals x plus 1. Okay, that's what, that's just, we're just using the properties that we know. So then, sorry, yes, that's right. Now, what we want to do, I had to think about that there, is to solve for x, I would subtract the 1 from both sides. And I'm left with, I'm going to write it this way. Uh, well, we can write it negative 1 plus log in base 3 of 2 equals x. And you can just leave your answer that way if you would like. Or if you need a decimal approximation, remember we can use, use the change of base. And so I'll write that. Remember that would be negative 1 plus, you, let's use natural log. You could write, take the natural log of the 2 or the argument and you would divide it by the natural log of the base 3 equals x. And so let's do that. Let's see what that is. So I'm going to go to my grapher here. So I would go, uh, and I would enter this all at once. So I go negative 1 plus we said it's the natural, we said natural log of 2 divided by the natural log of 3. And we get negative, if we take it to the three decimal places, it would be negative 0.369. So let's record that. Negative 3.69. So negative. 0 0.369 that's approximately x. So if we write the decimal, this is called the approximate answer. And if we leave it with the logs, this would be considered an exact answer. This one here or this one up above. All right, let's try a different approach to the same problem. So we'll call this as approach two. So let's start with this. We have, I'm going to give myself some space. So I have three to the x plus one equals two. Another approach is to just start by taking the log of both sides. And you can take the natural log, or the common log, or the log in base, whatever you want. So let's take the log. So let's take, a, or let's use natural log. How about the natural log of 3 to the x plus 1 equals the natural log of 2. We're just using the rules of algebra that say if you do something to one side, you can do the exact same thing. Here you, if you can do whatever you want to one side, provided that you do the exact same thing to the other side. Well now, now we can use property 3 from our previous lesson and we can move the exponent out in front. So this becomes x plus 1 times the natural log of 3 equals the natural log of 2. Now let's divide both sides by the natural log of 3. Okay, so 
the natural log of 3. Remember that whole piece is a number. The natural log of 3. And so now what we have is we have x plus 1 equals the natural log of 2 over the natural log of 3. Then let's subtract 1 from both sides. And look at this. I have the exact same result as I got up above, which you should. But it's just a different approach to the same result. All right, let's try one more. One more problem is, is in order for us. Let's try this. Okay, so this one is solve the log of x equals negative 2. Okay, wow. Well, my first in instinct is that this is kind of hard to deal with, so let's just take a look at its exponential form and see if that sheds a different, um, a more helpful light. Well, notice this, this is in base 10, so I could write this as a 10 raised to the negative 2 is going to be x. Oh, but wait a minute. 10 to the negative 2, well, that becomes 1 tenth, whoops, 1 tenth to the positive 2, but that's just 1 tenth squared, that's 1, 1 squared over 10 squared, well, that's 1 one hundredth. So you could write your answer as what, the fraction 1 one hundredth, or you could write it as the decimal of 1 one hundredth. And that is how you can solve problems using exponents and logs. And the idea is, if you don't see the route in one form, write it in the other. Oh, hope this helps, and thanks for watching.